Pierce and I teach English and Literature. Before you register for classes, I want to talk to you about how to read the online schedule of classes as well as all of the different types of classes that you can choose. Eastfield College offers face-to-face -face classes, which are usually lecture-based. There are online classes, which means that all of your assignments are done on the internet, self-paced courses that allow you, the student, to work within a longer time frame to complete assignments, hybrid classes, which consist of both classroom and online instruction, and evening and weekend classes. Some of the special courses that you might be interested in include learning communities. Learning communities consist of two or more courses linked with a common theme or concept. For example, there is an English 1301, History 1301, and EDUC 1300 learning community. In this particular learning community, the theme or concept is integrative learning, which means that you utilize what you are learning in these courses and connect the experiences and ideas to your other courses as well as outside of class. We also offer emphasis courses. Like the learning communities, emphasis courses also have a theme. The theme is usually relative to a time period, genre, or a particular group of people. For example, English 2326, a literature course, may have a focus on African American, Asian American, Native American, or Latin American writers. For students who are advanced, Eastfield College offers honors courses. Dedicated students on the fast track who want to complete their core courses in a short amount of time should consider taking scholar master courses. The Scholar Master mostly consists of core courses that are taken online during a three-week period. Pay close attention to the notes in the schedule at the bottom of the course information. Those notes will usually give you more details about the course. Now that you have a better understanding of the different types of courses, let's talk about how to read the schedule of classes. The schedule of classes lists the course number, section, room number, name of the professor teaching the course, start and end date, days when the class meets, and the time. When you see the letters M, W, F, this means that the class meets on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The letters M and W mean that the class meets on Monday and Wednesday. And when you see the letters T, R, these letters indicate that the class meets on Tuesday and Thursday. If you just see one letter representing a day of the week, then that course is probably a hybrid class where some of the work is done in class and the rest is done online. Also, if you see the letters PG next to a class, that class will be held at the Pleasant Grove campus. Be sure to read the schedule of classes very carefully and choose your classes wisely. Make the first semester of your first year a success. When you try to visualize a college classroom, what do you see? I'm Professor Brett Wilkinson and I teach U.S. and African American history. What I want to talk to you about is what a college class really looks like. A college class is very different than what you probably experience in your high school classes. For example, your classes will be held in different buildings on campus and you'll notice that some of your classes are in computer labs, lecture halls, some may have group tables and rolling chairs, or just chairs. Something else to be prepared for is that each of your professors will teach differently. You'll experience lectures, class discussions, group assignments, attend academic events on campus, take field trips, and much more. Your professors are expecting you to be active participants in your learning because you're college students and your motivation should come from within. You're also expected to be prepared by having read the assigned selections and have completed assignments in a timely fashion. Lastly, you're expected to be engaged by being able to communicate with your professors and your peers effectively by asking questions to clarify course content and any faculty instructions. Meeting these expectations will help you ensure your success at Eastfield College and beyond. Congratulations and welcome to Eastfield. The first day of class is always exciting. Students who enter my class on the first day engage with me and their peers. I always introduce myself and share a little bit of my testimony and journey as a college student and as an educator. Likewise, students are invited to share a few things about themselves, such as their major and to discuss their academic plans for the near future. They find out, after listening to others, they have many similarities with their peers. I also make sure as a class that we congratulate first generation to college students, new students, and returning students. On the first day of class, seeds of completion, retention, and persistence are planted with the hopes that those seeds take root 
and enable students to flourish academically. Here are some tips for the first day of class. Attend the first day of class. Try to access the syllabus and read it before class starts. Have all school supplies, including the textbook, but wait until the first day of class before tearing the shrink wrap off of the book to ensure you have purchased the correct book. Finally, come with an open mind and be ready to put forth your best effort. Welcome to Eastfield College. We wish you much success as you begin or continue your academic journey. What is a syllabus? The syllabus is an important document full of vital course information, such as the professor's contact information, course goals, required textbooks, classroom policies, and much more. Where do you get a course syllabus? The professor usually hands out the syllabus the first day of class. If you do not receive a hard copy, check eCampus. What information can you find on a syllabus? Contact information. The contact information includes your professor's email, office room, and phone number, as well as their office hours. Official course description. Course goals and student learning outcomes. Professors include course goals and student learning outcomes on their syllabus to outline what students are expected to know and be able to do at the end of the course. Textbooks and other required materials. Institutional and class policies. Course schedule and calendar. The course schedule and calendar lays out due dates, quiz and test dates, major projects, midterms, and other important dates. Prepare for class by knowing which topics or chapters will be discussed in class. This allows you to read the required text and know what to study. Evaluation of student performance. In percentages or points, the professor lays out their grading scale and value of all assignments, including tests, essays, midterms, finals, and in-class projects. Learning resources and support services. Eastfield College and your professors want to see you be a successful student in your academic career. This is why there are many tutoring services available on campus to help you reach your goals in a variety of subjects such as the Science Corner, the Math Spot, and the Link. The syllabus provides you with important information on course content, expectations, timeframes of due dates, course events, and course-related resources and supporting services you can take advantage of to enhance your learning. Best wishes in this new journey as you embark to attain your academic goals, a unique investment in your future. On the syllabus, under the contact information section, you should see the days and times for your professor's office hours. Office hours are scheduled specifically for you to meet with your professors and discuss assignments, grades, and any other class-related concerns. You can also get help from the academic skills centers. There's the link in the library to assist you with research and writing, the math spot, and the science corner. We also have two campus counselors that can help you with your work-life balance. My advice to you is don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. There are lots of resources here at the college for you to use and that are designed to help you be successful your first year. Hello, my name is Alex and I'm a writing consultant in The Link. The Link is located in the library, L200, and helps students with writing projects. One of the most important things The Link can help with is understanding plagiarism. Plagiarism is when you use somebody else's idea and claim it as your own. Whether this is intentional or accidental, it can cause a lot of trouble. Here are three ways you can avoid plagiarism. Your style guide is your shield against plagiarism. A style, such as MLA, is the format in which your essay should be written. It protects you from plagiarism by showing you how to document the information that you will use. Next to your idea, write me in parentheses so you can remember what ideas are your own and what may be a paraphrased idea from someone else. I got that tip from a professor here on campus, so I had better make sure to cite him later. 
taking an idea and changing a few words is still plagiarism because the idea is not completely your own. It is important to remember where you get your information from as you research. Documentation is one of the most often neglected and least understood elements of writing. Write down places you find useful ideas. When your reading gives you an idea, write that down too. For more information on writing a well-cited paper, come visit us here at the link or email us at forthelink at dccd.edu.